Hey everyone, my name is Allison Moody. I've enjoyed having this class with you guys. Um, I've enjoyed your posts and your presentations, and I hope you continue to stay safe throughout the coronavirus and that you finish up your semester strong. Today I'll be presenting to you about relocating a plant outside of the United States. So a little bit of background information. Our plant is in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and for the past two years, it has not been producing as much as the other plants in the United States. So, the, so our management team has decided to relocate this plant into China. The company has chosen Beijing as the city in China to relocate to. The reasoning for relocating to Beijing is it's the fourth largest city in China with around 22 million people residing in that city. It is also China's capital, which has more opportunity for the people that are living there and opportunity for the company to grow. The city of Beijing is also home to a section of the Great Wall of China. This meaning that tourism is a large part of their economy. This will ensure that the growth of the city will be great and that there will always be more opportunities with living in Beijing. As you can imagine, relocating a plant to China comes with many different obstacles. The main dilemma we are going to focus on is the problem of employees having to make a lifestyle change that comes along with this relocation. First, we are going to um, talk about the benefits of relocating. There are several different benefits of relocation. The first benefit of relocating the plant to China is that there is cheaper, more efficient labor for the company there. The population in China is so large that there's not competition for jobs and therefore you can pay workers less. With there being such a large population, there is enough jobs in China that can employ all of the people and they're not fighting over one certain job. So the cost of living in China is also less and that helps account for cheaper labor. The statistics I have for that, the United States plant employee makes around $23 an hour and the average Chinese plant employee makes around $2 an hour. So as you can see, that's a huge difference, which would help the company save money not paying their employees $23 an hour in the United States. The next benefit would be the supplies used in the plant would be cheaper and more accessible. As everyone knows, many supplies that the United States may, uses comes from China. So moving our plant to China will make the supplies that we need to produce our products more accessible. This also helps take down the risk of losing supplies on their way to the United States and um, the time it takes to get the supplies here. The supplies will be in China and we'll just have to move, come to our company, which will also be in China. So that will help with the um, cost of importing supplies and having the supplies more accessible to us. There are many benefits of relocating a plant outside of the United States. The last one we are going to talk about today would be the technological advances that are being made in China. Right now, China is the powerhouse of the technology world. This meaning that they have modern products, their digital expertise, and um, they have experience in research and development of technology. This technology advances will enhance the production um, at our plant. These are a couple pictures taken inside factories in China. 
I've had the opportunity to have a close family friend relocate a plant to China and these were photos that he took inside factories and it just gives you an inside look of what they look like and maybe how some things work. As we know, the news of your plant closing and relocating to China is shocking news. So there are some solutions that we have put in place that will help the issues that you may face with the plant closing. The first solution would be that our company is going to offer you a position equal to the one you hold now at a plant elsewhere in the United States. Um, as stated before, our company has several plants within the United States and you would have the opportunity of relocating to one of those plants within the United States. This helps ensure that you'll keep your paycheck, you'll keep your health care benefits that you and your family may be using, um, and that you'll have the opportunity to stay with the same company that you're comfortable and familiar with and will hopefully help you out um, in the long run. The second solution that we have would be that you'll be able to relocate with the plant to China. So you and your family or just you um, will relocate with the plant, come with us to China and live there. Relocating to China will be open to other employees besides just the management, but we want to make sure that our managers do relocate with us so that the there'll be less downtime for the plant to retrain new managers and the managers we currently have have knowledge about our company and they know the culture of the company and how most things run. The last solution for the um, relocation issue is one that we certainly hope you don't choose, but we do understand that you must do what's best for your family and you. This option would be to terminate your employment with our company. Our company will deem this termination as being laid off just because being laid off from a company does come with benefits. The first benefit that you will receive if you terminate your employment is severance pay. South Carolina, the laws in South Carolina does not require you to um, receive severance pay, but our company will allow you to receive two months of your salary. Um, we're hoping that this would help you find a new job and keep up your family with this money during that time. The second benefit that you'll receive um, by terminating your employment is called COBRA. It's a Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. This meaning that it allows you to continue with the same health care benefits that you and your family currently have for up to a year and a half after your termination. And we want to allow you to do this because we understand what a shock this is to you and how it will affect your family. I'm sure you're all wondering how the company is going to communicate this relocation with you. As many people know, communication is the key effort in a relocation process. This meaning that a company must communicate effectively their plans to relocate, how it will affect their employees, and how they will plan for their employees in the future. So our company will follow the WARN Act, which stands for Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification. This is a federal law in the United States and each state also has a WARN Act that is specific for their state. 
So the company will have 60 days to notify, notify each of the employees about the relocation and closing of the plant. Now we know that's not a lot of time, um, but with the solutions to issues you may have, we feel that it is an ample amount of time for you to get stuff in order. So the communication process will look like each employee will receive a letter at work notifying them of the relocation. This will likely not have any information in it about the relocation. It will just be notifying you about the relocation and telling you that the plant is closing and will be relocating to China. The next piece of information that you will get will be information about the relocation and, and how it will affect you. So it will have all of the the COBRA Act and um, your about your severance pay. It will have all that information within that packet so that you can go through and read about what's going to happen and how it will affect you and your family. The next step will be a face-to-face -face meeting with your supervisor. So this will allow you to go over the information with your supervisor and ask them any questions that you may have at that time. The last form of communication will be a plant-wide meeting so that everyone can have a question and answer session. You will be able to ask questions, get answers about the relocation, and hear other people ask questions and get answers that you may also have. Again, we know this is not what you wanted to hear from your company about this plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina closing and relocating to Beijing, China. But we do think after researching and learning the benefits of relocating that it is going to be best for our business and our company to relocate. We hope that the solutions that our company has set forth and the plans they have for you and your families regarding your health care benefits, your salary and your pay, and the communication that we have set forth into notifying you from the WARN Act that your, you and your family will indeed consider moving with us to China or relocating to a plant elsewhere in the United States. We want to thank you for your cooperation and we want to thank you for being a part of our company.